All right. Welcome back to the channel. Now we've got a video on the discriminant. Now you would have actually seen the discriminant before. It's just part of the quadratic formula, more specifically the part that's in the square root. So b squared minus 4ac. Now the discriminant gives us some important information. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at these four quadratics and have a look at what the discriminant actually tells us about their graphs. So if you look at the first one, what I'm going to do is start to fill out the quadratic formula as if we were going to solve it. So if this quadratic was equal to zero, I'd say A would be equal to one, B would be equal to four, and C would be equal to minus 12. So if we started to fill out the quadratic formula, we'd have this, we'd have X is equal to minus four, plus or minus the square root of four squared, minus four lots of one, times by minus 12, all over two lots of one. So if we just simplify this down a little bit, we'll have minus four on the outside, plus or minus the square root of, and then in here, four squared, that's 16. And then we've got four times by 12, so that's 48. But then because we've got the minus and minus, it means we're gonna add that together. So we've got to do 48 add 16, which is just 64. And then over two. So what can we see here? Well, the discriminant, that little part in there, is equal to 64. That's a positive number. So when you square root that, that's perfectly good. You get an answer when you square root it. So I'm just going to write this down in here. So b squared minus 4ac, this was equal to 64 for this. So if we were to go and take it one step further, the square root of 64 is just 8. So we'd have minus 4 plus or minus 8 and then divide by 2. So my first answer here, if we solved it, would be minus 4 plus 8, which is 4, and then divide by 2 to give me 2. My second answer would be minus 4 minus 8, which would give me minus 12, and then divide by 2 to give me minus 6. So what this tells me is I get two answers, or two roots. And as you can see on the graph there, we've got two roots or two places where it crosses the x-axis at minus six and at two, just like we got from the quadratic formula over there. So thing to take note of here is the discriminant was positive and we ended up getting two answers or two solutions to our quadratic. Now let's try doing the same with number two. So let's quickly get rid of this. Okay, now for the next one, a for this would equal minus 2, b would equal 9, and c would equal minus 4. So if we start to fill out the quadratic formula again, we'd have minus 9 plus or minus the square root of, and that'd be 9 squared minus 4 lots of minus 2 times by minus 4. And put that all over 2 lots of minus 2. Start to simplify it down so we'll have x is equal to minus 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared that's what 81 minus and then we've got 4 times by 2 which is 8 and then 8 times by 4 which is 32 um, and also divide that by minus 4 okay good right let's start simplifying this down so we have x is equal to minus nine plus or minus the square root of, we've got 81 minus 32, I think that's going to be 49, and then over minus four. Now the square root of 49, that's just seven. So what I'm gonna do just at this stage is quickly make a note that the discriminant again has actually just come out to something positive. So b squared minus four ac came out as 49. And so let's take this one step further and try and solve it. So minus nine plus or minus, square root of 49 is seven, 
over minus four. So our first answer would be minus nine plus seven, which is minus two, divided by minus four, and that's gonna give me 0 0.5 or a half. And then my second answer would be minus nine minus seven, which would be minus 16, and then divide that by minus four, which is just gonna give me four. And so again, when we solve this, we've got two answers again, or two solutions. And you can see from the graph there, it crosses the x-axis at two places, 0 0.5 and at four. So again, the thing to be wary of is the discriminant was a positive, and we've got two answers for our quadratic. Now let's check out the same thing, but for the third one. So with the third one, a would equal one, b would equal six, and c would equal nine. So if we start filling this out, we'd have minus six plus or minus the square root of six squared minus four lots of one times by nine, all over two lots of one. And so let's simplify this. We'd have x is equal to minus six plus or minus the square root of Six squared is 36, and four times nine is also 36. So actually we've got the square root of zero this time, and then over two. So now look at what happens here. The discriminant this time is zero. So let's make a note of that, b squared minus four ac is equal to zero. And if we take it one step further, the square root of zero, well, is still zero. So to get our answers here, we'll be doing minus six plus or minus zero, divide by two. Now clearly minus six plus zero or minus six minus zero will still be minus six. So therefore from this we'll only get one answer and that would be minus three. And as you can see with this graph, there is only one answer, one solution. And that's why it only touches the x-axis at one point minus three and skips off again. There we go. So the thing to note this time is when the discriminant was equal to zero, there was only one solution. And now let's try it for the last one as well. Okay, so for the last one, we'd have a is equal to minus two, b is equal to four, and c is equal to minus four. So if we start to plug this in, we'd have minus four plus or minus the square root of four squared minus four times by minus two times by minus four, all divided by two lots of minus two. Okay, let's simplify this down. So we have minus four plus or minus the square root of four squared, which is 16, take away, and then we've got four times four, which is 16, times by another two, I think that's 32 in total. Yes, and then put that all over minus four. So we'll quickly simplify this down one more step. So minus four plus or minus the square root of, that would be minus 16 here, over minus four. Now, this bit is interesting because the discriminant this time is minus 16. So the discriminant is something which is negative. There we go, minus 16. Now what do you know? Well, you can't square root a negative number. And so for this here, unfortunately, you wouldn't get any answers if you put this into your calculator. And that's why you can see with the graph, it does not intersect the x-axis, or it doesn't cross there. So there's no solutions, no real solutions. So again, Point to note here is when the discriminant was negative, there were no real roots or no real solutions to this quadratic. So what can we take from this overall? Well, we can say this. When the discriminant is bigger than zero, so like it was here and like it was here, what happens, the graph is gonna cross the x-axis at two points, and so you'll get two real solutions, or two real roots. 
when the discriminant was equal to zero. What happened there? Remember when we solved it, both the answers came out exactly the same because when you plus or minus zero, you'll always get the same answer anyway. And so for quadratics like this, you will get one root or one solution. And then for the last type where we had b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So when we had a negative here, what did we notice? Well, it's unsolvable. You can't get real solutions for it anyway. You might be able to get some imaginary roots, but over here, there's no real solutions. And so what it means is this kind of graph will never intersect your x axis. So hopefully you've got a good introduction there to discriminant and what it is and how if we just calculate the discriminant, then we can get some information about whether the graphs are gonna cross the x-axis or not. And it can kind of tell you whether the quadratic is gonna be solvable or not. So that's that. Next video, we'll look at how we can use the discriminant to solve a few problems. So hope to catch you there.